What's up everybody, it's your boy The Inner Official. Welcome back to another Epi Banger video. And today guys and girls, we're going to do a quick little tips video. If you guys rocking it with a kayak or if you're rocking it with the john boat or even if you're rocking it with a sixty thousand dollar bass boat there is so many different upgrades for you that you can do there is a long list of things that you can look into you can look into fish finders you can look into prop nuts which is a really random one you can look at a skeg guard you can look at so many different things but it also depends on where you fish but with that said there are so many ways that you can find something that's really useless as far as an upgrade goes to you if you guys don't already know i have a pelican bass raider it's arguably the goodest the, the goodest <laughs> <laughs> the best hybrid version of taking a kayak and mixing it together with a John boat. So what a Pelican Bass Raider is, I'll probably try to see if I can pull up a picture right here or at least of mine. I'll actually include the, the thumbnail of the picture, uh, the thumbnail of the video where I actually introduced my Pelican Bass Raider for the first time. It's a great little two-man boat. It's a boat that really is just mainly meant to allow anyone to take to pick it up and go fish their local lake or pond. I'm really wanting to take it out in the salt water lately because I just think it would actually do pretty good in salt water. So eventually I'm probably going to do that. With the Pelican Bass Raider, the only way to propel the boat to get it to move forward is with a trolling motor. Now with a trolling motor, you have so many different things with that, is you can upgrade the power, you can upgrade to iPilot, Spotlock, Copilot, Remote Control, all these different things. And those are great upgrades for your boat too. But today's video is about one upgrade for any Pelican Bass Raider, any kayak with a trolling motor, anything that needs batteries. And yes, I said batteries. That means today's video is all about a little special something called a deep cycle marine battery. Now this one right here is actually called Enduro Power. So if you guys don't already know what a lithium battery is, is it's actually just a deep cycle battery that's like a third of the weight. So this is a size, this is like a group 29 a uh, group 26 24 size battery i can't get my numbers right at all this battery right here essentially is the same power as pretty much any old 29 size battery that you can buy from walmart so yes there is batteries for that give you about 100 amp hours and they're from walmart that is cool but they weigh 90 pounds or some crazy number to get 100 amp hours you have to pay 90 bucks get 90 pounds of weight that's adding a whole small child to your vehicle or to your vehicle, to your boat, kayak, or whatever. If you're somebody who likes to go fast or somebody who needs to get to your spot quicker, cutting down that weight is probably the biggest adjustment that you can make to your boat that can help you go to your spots faster. It can get you get more speed. Personally, whenever I had my old deep cycle battery with my Pelican Bass Raider, I was maxing out about 2.8 miles an hour. And that's what it told me my fish finder. And that's in kind of like not a lot of wind. It was a glass flat and usually that changes so with lead batteries your voltage will go up and down it never stays consistent and the batteries die over time it's because they're technically the lead flooded lead acid batteries that you have in today's market are liquid state batteries liquid state batteries can move around they also are not as consistent over time they can die a lot faster but by dying i mean essentially as it gets older it dies faster and it also will only last about two to three years so that leads me to my next point. With lithium batteries, that is not a much of a problem. So there's a couple of different things I already said about the weight, but this weight right here, and this battery I believe is only 20 something pounds. So this is one hand, but if you notice here, I can carry it with two fingers. It is really, really light, really, really useful. Not hard to, not hard to move around. I actually just scratched up my hand really bad. That freaking hurt. <laughs> but literally, look. And now, I'm not like a super strong guy to be able to do that. That's a 20 pound battery versus an 80 pound battery that you would get from Walmart for about 90 bucks. Granted, this is a little bit higher end, but if you're somebody who's in the bass fishing competitive scene, I don't even need to tell you how important speed is when it comes to your boat. So after putting this battery in my, in, in my boat instead of the lead acid battery, adjusted the speed I was getting by a whole mile an hour. I went from 2.8 miles an hour to almost 3.8, almost. Not exactly, but almost 3.8 miles an hour. I might include some clips to, of this video, uh, in this video of me using the boat in the past, but mainly it has increased my speed a ton. And I will say that for the price, it's a little pricey at first, but it's probably one of the most valuable things you'll find in your whole setup. Now, 
with this battery instead of it being liquid and dying super fast over time this battery is solid it is pretty much a rock in a way what it means is the overall lifetime of the battery is going to be a lot longer so you're going to see instead of three years you might see anywhere from five to ten with enduro they tell you all these different statistics saying they last significantly longer than your typical lead acid battery so if you guys are looking for a good upgrade that's going to save you probably just as much money in the long run as you would have spent on buying lead batteries repeated and repeated repeatedly get a lead battery get a lithium battery a lithium battery is probably the best upgrade for any john boat kayak canoe whatever the heck you want to put it on it's probably the best thing for that and they also make these things in up to a 24 volt uh 100 amp hour so if you have a 24 volt trolling motor it's perfect for you uh as far as battery options go there's so many different options that you can try to get this battery for now i'm actually going to leave links down in the description down below i'm also going to check if my discount code still works with them just to make sure but if you guys want to go hit up that discount code you can do that down below but mainly this battery is going to be the best upgrade it's light it's consistent power it's a stat a static uh, voltage it stays the same it doesn't go up and down up and down it changes your speed all the time holds a charge so much better and i think the longest day i've spent on the water with this battery in my boat so far to this point i want to say is about seven and a half hours me and my buddy took it out shiner fishing and we caught literally two fish so we never saw the video come out but we got some shiners and we literally took the pelican out and Shiner fish one of my favorite lakes, which was my first time shiner fishing. Uh, it went not as good as expected, but it was good enough, is what I would tell you. But as far as these batteries go, it is probably for sure going to be the best battery for your bang for your buck, for your speed, for overall. If you're looking for one of those upgrades that's going to make your boat's life last so much longer, it's going to make your experience so much smoother. Lithium batteries are going to be able to. Over time, what I would recommend is skipping out on the lead batteries because I think over time you're going to see more and more lead batteries get phased out of production just because they, they're dangerous, they have so many different bad things about them, and granted I agree that they do have their place for someone who might be looking to keep it as cheap as possible, but if you're looking to upgrade, I would tell you two things that you need to upgrade on a small kayak or a small boat, whatever, it's going to be the battery and the fish finder, because if you're not spending a ton of money on a super big and fancy boat, you have extra spending room with things like lithium batteries, uh, fish finders, and trolling motors. This is going to be my number one upgrade because this can power those fish finders, those trolling motors so much more efficiently, so much more better in the long run. Also, for these kind of batteries, you need to have a specific charger because lithium batteries, if you notice with like lead batteries, right, they have to be charged and then maintained over time. Their rate has to stick like that versus with the lead batteries, you have to charge it all the way up and it will stay maintained at a higher rate. It's slightly different charging. The charging is a little bit different from lead batteries. So to be able to charge these batteries, you need to have something that's not a lead battery charger. One of the specific battery chargers that I recommend the most is the NOCO Genius series. The NOCO Genius series, when I got one of those, I absolutely loved it. It is one of my favorite battery chargers today because it does lead, it does lithium, it does gel, it does anything that you need it to and it smart charges. And it's about the same price as what your nicer battery chargers are going to cost anyways that don't do the same thing. So if you guys want to go check out the NOCO Genius 5 watt, 5 amp I mean, and then the one I actually use myself, I will link it down below. If you guys want to click that link, pick it up, let me know down below and really appreciate it because it helps me out in the long run. I've told you guys why you need this, I've told you guys why you might want to have this in the future, why it might be the number one upgrade for your kayak, John boat, bass boat, whatever you're doing. And now I've told you how to charge it too. So what I think now is I'm going to end the video here. And uh, I just want to say thank you again to Enduro Power for hooking me up with an awesome battery. This battery is great, especially because out of the water, it is tough having an extra like 60, 70 pounds in your boat. And this makes it a lot more efficient. I mean, literally being able to throw my battery. I'm not throwing my battery often, but I definitely think that this battery is great for me serves its purpose for so i would say out of any upgrade in my boat the only upgrade i could say is better is not even the better <laughs> it, uh, the only upgrade that's comparable to this is my fish finder and my fish finder is not as useful as this is because this lightens the boat up lightens the load but i think i'm done talking because i keep talking about how great this battery is <laughs> but i think it's just best if i end the video here or say thank you again to everybody for watching i know this is a short video but i think i'm getting more in the flow of putting out a lot more 
good content or at least content that I want to be informative. Uh, I want to further have an informative uh, space on YouTube. I want to make sure that everything I do is going to teach you guys what is the best solution to fishing, what is the best solution to get outdoors. And I think further on, I think I, a lot of my content is focused on teaching you guys what I know. I, I, I'm not cocky about how much I know. I just like to share it and I like to talk about these little details all the time. I mean, when I'm not filming, when I'm not working, and when I'm not in school, a lot of what I think about is fishing. And I think about how can I make my experience better or catch more fish. And that is what it's all about for me at the end of the day, guys. I've actually thought about starting like things like Patreons where we could do bass class and stuff like that, but we'll get in depth with that another time. I'm not really rushing to do it, but I want to say thank you again, guys, for watching. And if you guys have been liking the informative content, make sure you guys let me down know down below and do me a favor, go ahead and go watch a couple of my past videos. My past videos have been really awesome. I've been really loving what I've been putting out. BFS saltwater content is just so much freaking fun and I can't wait to do some more of it. I'll see you guys next time on the YouTube channel. And remember, fish fairy.